Hello and welcome to Obi and Us. You join myself, Obi and Nicole. We are currently in Bruges in Belgium. We're at the Christmas market. We're currently stood on the balcony of our penthouse suite. Apartment. Apartment. <laughs> <laughs> Which we're going to show you around. But yeah, it's quite cool and quirky. And that's what it's all about in Bruges. So stick around and enjoy this one. This is our front door. Interestingly blocked by this basket because, well, the front door doesn't lock, does it? It doesn't close. Yeah. So we thought, hmm, let's try and keep it closed by that basket. It's not very secure, but at least it stops a draft. Go on, Nicole, show us around then. Look how steep these stairs are. Steep. I jokingly said they might as well be a step ladder. So we come up here. And here we are. So, cracking views of at least one of the mar markets out there. And then we've got yeah, sort of the dining room slash kitchenette, which is a bit messy. This man's been running around and he keeps pulling up the carpet. He keeps pulling up the carpets and moving the mats around. So yeah, this is so what we have. Pretty basic stuff. And then we come this way. And it's funny, right? Because you have to like duck under these pillars. And then this is it, the bedroom area. Obi, what are you saying, mate? You haven't said hello yet, have you, really? Ah, you beautiful little boy. <laughs> so before we head out, little man needs to put his nice little winter jumper on. <laughs> is he going to be a good boy? <laughs> good boy. Oh, he's so good. Good boy. <laughs> oh, you are a pretty little boy in that jumper. That's going to keep you nice and warm, son. Come on. And you have her on. Once this is done, boom. There you go. Oh, there he is. There you go. There you go. Look at you. <laughs> yeah? You ready for the big wide world outside? Yeah? Go for walkies. Can we go for walkies? I'm going to go for walkies. <laughs> Alright son. Come on Obi, we're going for breakfast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we're just arriving at what's called That's Toast. And you can see, very popular because there's a huge queue. But we're going to wait. We're going to have to be patient, aren't we? Yeah. Obi. <laughs> So we've had breakfast and now we're carrying Obi in his harness because he's tired. He's supposed to be sleeping around about this time of the day. Actually, to be fair, he usually sleeps from like eight till midday anyway, every morning. And so we reckon he's a bit tired. Tell me why you're not comfy. So this is his harness and I don't think he's enjoying it one bit. I mean, it does secure him, but he's shaking a bit. He's, he's getting a bit aggressive. So we might consider actually removing him from it. Do you reckon? Look at his lovely little paws. Look, so cute. <laughs> Obi, you're not happy, are you, son? No? Take him out of the harness? What do you reckon? It's taking about 20 minutes to put him in it. So we decided what we're going to do is feed Obi because it has gone midday and he's got excited because he knows, he knows his lunch is there. <laughs> his nose smells it. Shit. <laughs> I wonder if he actually eats it out here. It's got to win it. Get that fag back out of there. Oh, disgusting. Okay. Uh, the thing is, he doesn't like it out of these bowls. He's always been so fussy, but his appetite says otherwise, and he's going to eat it. Hey, good little boy, isn't he? The next challenge for Obi is a big one because we're about to walk into the square, which is just ahead of us. Oh, and he meets another dog. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh wow. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, so it's about to get very, very busy for little Obi because as we walk 
into this square ahead of us, there's going to be a lot of people. Just wait, he'll ask to be picked up. He will, he will want to be carried. Even though we've literally just taken him out of the harness, and now he's all excited. He's free. It's going to be sensory overload for him in a moment. And so here we are in one of the main squares oh, wow. in Bruges. Obi is officially in Bruges. Okay, mate. Oh. Oh. What is that? Oh my god! That scared me! He walks for like five minutes and then he's like, I can't be asked to Obi is a right tourist, isn't he? <laughs> Look at this! Wow! What a surprise. He's still being held. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't getting, he? He's getting a lot of attention though, isn't he? You are. Everybody wants to say hello to you, mate, all the time. I think he likes it being up high there because he can see everything. When he's yeah. down low, he actually, all he sees is pavement. Well, the thing is, it's sensory overload for him, I think. Yeah, true. There's so, many, there's so many people around, Yeah. a lot of smells, obviously he's still traumatised over that horse. <laughs> he, he can't get over it yet, can he? I Gosh. think he is tired as well though. Yeah, the other he's, thing as well is he's definitely tired, like we have noticed him getting a little bit moody with us. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to do, Obi, is we're going to go to Lizzie's Waffles, okay? Me and your mummy can have a waffle, a Belgian waffle, and you can hopefully have a nap. Have a nap. Because you are very tired, mate. So we have returned to the apartment. I'm whispering while drinking my coffee. Because I'm going to show you. So here he is, fast asleep, and he needs it so badly. We understand, we appreciate that he's still a pup, and so sleep is so important to him. And we just try not to disturb him. Let him have a couple of hours, two, three hours, and then we'll wake him up and get him back out again. So Bruges has almost come to an end, sadly, Sadly, uh, we're in the Euro Tunnel right now but we wanted to kind of end this vlog, give you a summary of our experience, uh, what we had to go through to get Obi over to France and back and I think we should first start off by saying what he required, so he needed a health check right? So he needed to do that 10 days prior to coming, including with a rabies vaccination, that cost £180 which it's pretty expensive. Yeah, I mean, we didn't expect it to be so pricey, to be honest. The other costs were the £25 each way on top of our Eurotunnel booking. You have to go through a specific pet terminal. They check all of his documentation. They check his microchip. Very straightforward. It was pretty straightforward. Very straightforward. It was turn up to the terminal. You get, you get dealt with like that. And there's so many people going in and out with their dogs. I was quite surprised how mm. many people are actually doing it, to be honest. How was Obi in Bruges? I think overall he grow, he's grown up very, very quickly now because <laughs> there was so much going on and he got so much attention. I'm surprised he still has fur on top of his head because <laughs> the amount of people that wanted to fuss over him was crazy, wasn't it? Yeah, he was drawing yeah. a crowd at some points. He would whine and fuss a little bit when he was tired or I think if he needed to go to the toilet. He gave us, you know, we had an idea of what he wanted. If he started to fuss, it was like, ah, Something's not quite right, so let's see to it. Make sure we take him somewhere quiet, and then he would 
go for a wee or go for a poo. He sat in restaurants, Bruges, so, so dog, dog friendly. friendly. Literally anywhere. Hey, we took him in everywhere. So we're gonna get him home now. We're gonna get ourselves home too. We just wanna say thank you for watching if you've watched up until this point. If you like what you have seen and you want to follow the journey of this little boy, subscribe, thank you. And I guess we hope to see you on another one very soon. Thanks for watching, <laughs> bye. <laughs>